Hello everyone, you're watching Can You See Fish? And in uh, one of my other videos, I did an Ertle collection, my Ertle collection. Um, in today's video, I'm going to be doing a little look at, uh, a little update to that. Um, five models that I've got boxed. Uh, they came in the mail yesterday, and I thought I'd take a look at them. So, oh, I got them off eBay. They are in a bundle. I didn't buy them separately. I'm not going to say how much I paid for it, obviously. But, um, yeah, I thought it was a good deal. So, I bought them. Yeah, five models. Um, some of which... Okay, so two of which I haven't got at all. And one of which I am planning on opening. Okay, so here's Toby. Um, I'm... Sure, I'm sure that I'm not going to open him. I've got, already got, if you watch my video, you'll know that I have three of three moulded face Tobies, including one in this style. Um, all of them do have slight defects, however, my moulded face Tobies. One's roof is glued on backwards, for one the roof comes off and the other one's front coupling is broken. So it is nice to have one which is in perfect condition, mint condition, unopened. Um, I'm going to keep this one packaged. It's uh, What year is this from? Let's have a look. Uh... It's the back of the box. You can actually see that's an original sticker on it there. Uh, this is from 2001. So, yeah, I think that was just after they started doing this packaging because uh, 1990s it was this style of packaging. And then they did the Magic Railroad style of packaging for the uh, models that they released from that movie in 2000. And then they changed it to that. So yeah, that's a, that's a 2001. I'm not going to open it. I don't particularly like this packaging style. It's probably my least favourite of all the packaging styles that they've done. But uh, yeah, I'm going to leave that sealed. Um, and it, it can be added to my unopened collection. Uh, moving forward, we've got Henry's Log Car. Uh, I'm not sure what I'm going to do with this. I do already own one of these. But... Uh, yeah, so I'm not sure whether I'll open it or keep it. As you can see, the box is very badly bent. I don't know what happened. It was actually shown like this on the picture, so it didn't happen during transit. Like This wasn't one of the ones I bought it for. Um, yeah, this uh, it's a nice model. Obviously, the logs are removable. You saw that I had one in my video. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with that. Here's the back of the... Uh, the back of it you've got the historical note i don't think i actually have the historical note for this the uh, the collector's card so if i do end up opening it that's another reason to you've got the list of the other characters and uh, models on the side um and this was from 1998 so yeah late 90s and um this was actually the most recent model at the time this was the last in fact, I think this might have this might have been. Don't quote me on it, but this might have been the last range that they did like this. I'm not sure, um, because series five characters weren't released in this style, and series five that was 1998 or 99. I'm not really sure, um, but yeah, this might have been the last one. Wilbur 16 and Henry's log car. This might have been the last ever one to use that box style. Um, Next up, we'll do this one. This one, uh, this one's probably the box which is in the worst condition. Um, it's all battered around the edges. It's got this giant hole in the middle of it, which is a shame. I am probably going to open this up so the box condition doesn't really matter to me. If you watch my video, you will know that I have an old coach, but I only have one. And as you can see, this clearly comes with two. So, yeah, I'll probably, probably open this up, to be honest, at some point, maybe soon. And... Uh, that's interesting. The historical note on here has got both the um, the in, in English and French. So yeah, this was an earlier one. This is number thirty, and uh, yeah, you can see it also is has the French on it. There, you probably can't get that. Yeah. So yeah, you can see the uh, yeah that this is one of the earlier ones. Um, this one's from 1996. Yeah, 1996. So, what was that? That was just after Series 4 was released. Yeah, I'll, pro I'll probably open that up. Re not sure, but probably will. I'm more likely to open that up than I am to open up the uh, the log car, but I might still open that one. Uh, yeah, let's take a look at this Gordon Special Coach. So, yeah, this was a... It uh, really should have been released as Series 5. These are from the... Well, this, this is just a regular Express Coach. And this one is from Gordon and the Gremlin, uh, where Gordon pulls Dowager Hat in one of these uh, coaches. 
I'm really not sure why they decided to just include one and then a regular express coach because Gordon did have two of this style coaches in that episode. So I don't know why they only decided to release one. It does, of course, say Gordon Special Coach, which is this one. And maybe they lie similar to what they did with the original release of Scruffy, where they just added in a regular Troublesome Truck. They might have just added in this to, uh, you know, get the best value from the price. There's the back of it. Yeah, this was released in 2000. So. Yeah, this so Toby wasn't from the first wave in in this box style because they did end up releasing some of these in two thousand. That's interesting. I didn't know that. Um, yep, there, there's the back of the box. As I mentioned, I don't really like this box style, so I'm not going to feel too bad about opening this up. Obviously, it's a model I don't already um, own, so yeah, right. And the main reason why I, I, well, the thing that really stuck out to me was this, the slate trucks. These are the narrow gauge trucks. These are these were the first time that these were released. They're only ever released in, I believe, this style of packaging. They might have been released in the later Star 2, but I, I haven't seen them. Uh, these were, of course, mainly used in uh, Series 4. You saw them in episodes like Trucks, and then they were also in Series 5 in episodes like uh, Duncan Get Spooked and uh, Snow. These are from, what year? Yeah, two, 2001. So yeah, one thing to note is that the slates in these trucks are far too high, but they are removable, which is nice. And I do own the slate quarry set that I might show off in more detail in another video. But I do own the slate quarry set, so these trucks will be nice. And um, yeah, I have the uh, the gunpowder trucks, which are the other narrow gauge trucks that Ursel release. So now I have these ones. I'm uh, I'm really looking forward to. I'm definitely going to open these. Really looking forward to that. Um, yeah. I'm going to open them, so let me bring back all the other models, the old coaches, um, Henry's log car, and Toby are there. So yeah, that's my uh, that's my Ertl collection update. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you next time. Goodbye. Mm -hmm.